is Paul George, who's able to knock down the mid-range. Expectations based on his contract, but you know he's going to try to play the right way. And a double-double. That Christmas Day game against Denver is he probably knocks down the three. Man, I, just watching that again, I saw it the other day, <laughs> EJ, still gives me the same kind of chills and goosebumps and brings yeah. a smile across my face. <laughs> but Oliver Miller, man, that was a tremendous pass. Now, but you think about the, the pantheon of, like, great NBA plays. Some of the passes that Magic and Bird made was just ridiculous. They were, they were always a step ahead of everyone else and made everything look easy. Against the Jazz on Friday. Leonard on the turnaround. That's just money. Cam has not scored, certainly impacting the Suns' offense thus far in this first half. And you notice Batum had a wide open three, didn't take. Oh, yeah, able so. to get a hand on Leonard. He doesn't take a shot that's wide open, and, and that's what happens here as you start to work your way back in the game. Momentum can shift quickly. Twenty-nine-year-old Kawhi Leonard. Swing it around, sets up Beverly, who's able to get it past Crowder and Beverly over That's the top of Aiton. That's a tough shot there. Looker not giving much ground, and a tough <laughs> shot there from Leonard. Can revert back to that team that tends to tighten up a little bit when that happens. Leonard off the elbow, rattles it in. Just Paul back on the floor after a quick trip to the Suns locker room. Cam Johnson trying to turn the corner, but the claw gets a hand on it. And then Jay Crowder racing back. You're not making too many dribbles unless you aggressively trying to get past them. Yeah, and his is not the normal size hand. Yeah, you got to really protect the basketball. Dario Sharts checks back in. Dario season high tonight.